Wow. 11 months. By the time I upload this video, actually, honestly, by the time I upload this video, it will be over a year since I uploaded my video about uh, me buying a bus. So after a year-long hiatus, we're better to kind of come back and uh, I guess recap where I've been than uh, here back in the survivalist. Honestly, I've just really only been playing like one game lately and uh, couldn't think of a better game to like play while we just talk really. It's gonna be like one of those like Call of Duty cutcom videos from like 2007, except it's Minecraft. I'm just gonna kind of run around, do shit, probably not do anything real though, and kind of just talk about what the fuck happened to me, you know? So jump back, I guess basically a full year at this point, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, I bought a bus. I was on this website known as Craigslist looking, actually, I might've got it on Facebook marketplace but anyways i was on the internet looking for a vehicle wasn't really sure what i wanted I either wanted like a, a small truck or something like a tacoma or i wanted like a bus to then turn into like an rv of sorts so that way i could travel the country in it and again as you saw about a year ago that's exactly what i did i bought a fucking bus <laughs> What a crazy decision and incredible journey it's been. I've had a lot of moments where like, man, I hate this bus. Some moments filled with regret over buying the bus and just kind of the whole endeavor because it just gave me a lot of problems uh, at times. But at the end of the day, I'm so very happy that I made that purchase. Well, I guess the bank made the purchase because I had to get a loan for it, but it's fine. Either way, I am so happy that I made that decision and went through with it because uh, for anybody who didn't know the full plan, I don't know if I really even explained it on the channel. Yeah, I mean, it's been a year, so I kind of forgot. Maybe I should have watched it before I, before I did all this. But anyways, um, yeah, so I, I bought this bus with the plan, you know, to live in it and travel around the country. But one of the jumping points and one of the initial plans with the bus was to take it, you know, make it an RV like I did, and then take it to go pick up a very good friend of mine in Texas. And then her and I were gonna take that same exact bus to Florida for a gaming event, a, a little gaming event called GCX. It's basically a charity event at this point. We focus really, really heavy on raising money for St. Jude been a really fun thing that i've done for the last few years i've only been to gcx in person once which was last year but i've been part of the community and part of raising money for a few years now so i went and picked her up i think it was like 1 a.m the day before her birthday or it was her birthday our timeline is a little messy there because we did it all so like just by ear i guess but i drove to texas picked her up and then we made our way to florida quite a journey uh, quite a trip, a lot of driving. I mean, to go from where I used to live, spoiler alert, in New Hampshire down to Texas, just that trip alone was about 1,800 miles. Then we went from Texas to Florida, and then from Florida back to Texas, and then I drove from Texas back to New Hampshire. So a lot of driving in about a month, month and a half period. But again, so worth it. I'm so happy I did it. She's my best friend, and that trip alone has created some un unbelievably unforgettable memories but along our trip you know i the build up to the trip and the whole way driving to texas i told everybody she was my best friend and there was there was nothing more than that and you know that's really what i thought in my brain but we both came to a realization along the trip that um we just make too good of a team all the things that didn't really make sense made sense when we were together and every shitty thing that happened during the trip every obstacle if i think if i was alone they would have crushed me but being with her anything felt possible it felt like as cheesy as it sounds anything we did together was doable um so i'll just stop beating around the bush we realized that uh it just made too much sense and that we should have probably been together for a much longer time des and i were friends for a few years at at least i feel like it's definitely been longer but again our timeline's a little muddy because we were just internet friends for so long but um we fell in love but i made the mistake of kind of leaving most of my things back in new hampshire with my family so i had to leave her in texas and head back to collect all my things then again fast forward it's probably end of september i'm back in new hampshire back on my old job just trying to collect all my things make a little extra money and then the plan was to head out. The plan started to change a little bit and we decided we were gonna try to remodel the bus and make it more livable. We found out that the Texas heat 
well just all southern heat was absolutely uh devastating in a bus with no ac believe it or not uh, a short bus from 2010 mind you anyway started the renovations i dragged my feet a bit and also i was doing it basically all by myself in new hampshire didn't really know how to do a lot of it so just kind of winging it by ear definitely took a lot longer than we anticipated the year went on uh, we we went through christmas we spent christmas together thankfully and then my birthday came around and about that time we had decided that it was time to give up on the bus we just really wanted to be together again things just felt so much better and easier when we were together and things were definitely much easier to figure out our future and whatnot was easier to plan and like really imagine and you know there's thousands of buses out there and also we we think that our future plans have just changed in general well that's besides the point we don't need to get that personal i'm just a fucking minecraft youtuber right <laughs> um so anyways we decided that it was time to give up on the bus so i started doing the things that we need to do to get it ready to sell and then we made another decision change that i was going to move to her because that, that seemed like the most sensical thing at the moment so we decided that i was just going to pack all my things into the bus and move to texas and then we would sell the bus from there uh, and that basically brings us to where we are now. We live together. I live in fucking Texas now, which is crazy. Just a, a small northern boy from New Hampshire moved all the way to Texas to be with the love of his life. And holy shit, man, it has been so, so worth it. I, I seriously do not have a single regret. I don't really know what else to say beyond that. Like I, guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> I miss YouTube. I miss making content and stuff. I miss my family, of course. But beyond that, I am so happy. Life is so very different. A lot of changes. But again, when we're together, all of that feels so minuscule. So basically, from when you saw me last till now, I, uh, I bought a bus. I took that bus. I renovated it. I drove it across the country. I fell in love. Drove it back across the country. Got really depressed up in New England and then drove it back across the country again to be with my best friend. And holy shit, it has been probably the best decision I've ever made. I'm hoping to uh, get back to making content for you guys in the near future, but we'll see where the wind takes us. Anybody who is watching this right now, I appreciate you. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for checking it out. Sorry if the audio and everything's a bit fucked. I moved across the country and stopped making videos for over a year. Bear with me. Either way, guys, I appreciate you very much. I hope you know that. And uh, maybe just keep your eye out for uh, some future content. All right. I hope all is well. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.